Oh, come on, Fred. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's excited. He's ripping and roaring. Come on, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. It is about 4.30 in the morning, and uh, a lot of you that subscribe during the summer on me and Jordan's hunting, our, our starling hunts, our pigeon hunts, a lot of you guys miss me and Jordan getting after it. So today, you know what we're doing? We're going public hunting. I'm taking Jordan, my buddy, on his first ever public duck hunt that he's ever been on. He has never hunted walk-in, boat-in, any type of public land hunting for ducks. He's never done it. So today I'm going to show him the ropes. We're going to a little walk-in spot, a little public marsh. Uh, it's only got about 750 ducks on it, I think. From the waterfowl report, it said average kill numbers per hunt is 1.7 per man. So Hopefully we can top that. The challenge today is get that 1.7 bird average per person. So there's two of us today. Hopefully we both shoot two birds. It's tough hunting. This isn't private spots, y'all. Public can be tough. But before we get into today's video, check out that limited edition ducks hat. This bad boy is only available today and tomorrow. Then it's bye-bye forever. 48 hour ducks hat, limited edition that is. I will link it down in the description below. Isn't she sweet? But you guys know the deal. Whenever you guys purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to the channel and helping me bring you guys more videos because you guys know YouTube has had an issue with hunting channels, hunting videos, duck hunting, deer hunting, it doesn't matter what type of hunting. I'm constantly fighting demonetization. So big shout out to Ducks. Big shout out to you guys. I appreciate you. So a little recap. <laughs> Not very many birds. Two man public hunt. Let's get after it, boys. Let's get on the road. Come on, Fred, load up. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. But I'll put Fred's vest on him at the marsh, but we are taking some more decoys today, taking another dozen or so. So roughly two, two and a half dozen decoys. One mojo should be good. Well, filling up the old truck here. Only need about a half a tank, figure I'd top her off. But we got old bearded man himself here. I have arrived. He has arrived. First public duck hunt ever. Yep. Don't be expecting too much today now. Eh. He's spoiled. <laughs> he went on Cameron's hunts and yeah. some hunts last year. Uh, just don't expect too much today. It'll be fun though. It'll be fun. I mean, I haven't got to hunt a whole lot this year, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. Oh yeah. So, out of 750 birds on this big old marsh. <laughs> That's how many there are. Yeah, 750. Um, yeah, not the best numbers in the world. Huh? But... But do they of, count coots? Uh, I don't know if they counted coots. That's a good question. I mean... That's what I wanted. Me and me and Jordan already talked about it today, and we're like, dude, we're going to do a normal duck hunt at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Shoot what we can, but when it starts slowing down, as long as we're not going to disrupt anybody, you know what I mean? Walking around, shooting coots. The one thing with coots, guys, they don't just decoy for you all the time. You might shoot them as they're kind of skipping by, uh, but a lot of times they swim up into your decoy spread and you shoot them, or you go walking around the marsh and shoot them. Um, they don't decoy like a normal duck usually. So, uh, if, if all else fails, yeah. we are gonna, <laughs> this might turn into a coot shoot, y'all. I'm just warning you. So real quick, y'all, uh, I mentioned the podcast, uh, Jordan, he would actually be on the podcast as well. So, uh, just want to warn you guys that I, I'm, I'm planning it. We're going to get the first one cranked out here, but I'm looking at doing a waterfowl podcast one a week. Let me know if you guys want to. Fred is barking up. I was like, storm. he's like, let me out, Dan. Yeah, he's going nuts. <laughs> Fred's ready to go. It's about 45 minutes till shooting light. But like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see the podcast, have some different characters on it, some different YouTubers, uh, some different hunting faces, personalities, guides, farmers, you name it. You never know. Ooh. Well, the uh, the wind's gusting like I warned you all about. I'm going to have to uh, break the big camera down, put it in the blind bag. I don't want to be dropping it while I'm carrying decoys and managing Fred. Uh, we're going to get the decoy set up, wait for some light here, and we'll crack the camera back on. Well, uh, what's your... <laughs> that's a little bright, isn't what? it? It's not too bad. Uh, beautiful little sunrise oh, behind you, dude. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. What do you think? Your first impression getting out here on the public marsh, walk in hunting here. 
What do you think? I mean, it's not near as hard as I thought it would be. I yeah. Mean, there's a nice little dike to walk walk along. It's pretty pretty simple. One key thing. ingredient is to just know where you're going. Yeah, I would have no idea. You I'd know what like I mean? Out in the middle of that field right, over there. Right. Key ingredient. Know where you're going. I didn't scout birds. We're just out here on a whim again, guys. Not scouting, getting out here just a public, whatever happens, happens type of hunt. That's why I said uh, it's looking good for the coot shoot, boys. I mean, it's looking good. We, we got no other hunters out here. I seen one truck pull up when we were getting ready, but it was about three quarter, a mile away from us. Uh, so we should be the only hunters in the surrounding like half mile. So we're gonna hunt this morning. Great wind, great little setup. I can't show you right now. You, got, you guys won't be able to see it. Uh, but an awesome little setup. Gonna have a little bit of side wind action today. Uh, wind is sustaining like 17 to 20 mile an hour. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful little sunrise here, y'all. But before we get going here, make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit the thumbs up for your boy. Let's get this video rolling over 2,000 likes. It helps so much. If you guys miss old Jordan and you want us to do some more public duck hunting, you gotta let me know below, down in the comment section for one, and for two, hit the thumbs up button so you let me and Jordan know. And old Frederick, can't forget about him. So you let us three know that you want us to do this again, cause we would be glad to. Oh, check it out. Here's our spread. You can see it a little bit. Sun's just starting to come up. We got about four minutes till shooting light. Gorgeous little sunrise, though. Go move, Fred. There they come. Shoot them. Oh, go down, dude. Oh, Ow. dude, it's just so dark. Right in front. Oh, my gosh. Fred, here, 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 heel, heel, right here, load up, load up. We just got buzzed by a big old group of teal right after we shot. I was going to say, I saw them Dude, off. those were literally 10 yards away. Oh. How do you shoot a bird with a full choke in at 10 yards away? <laughs> well, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because we can't hit anything. <laughs> well, when they, you have to let... Well, when they, you have to let, oh, oh, oh right out front, right out front, right out front. Shoot them. Oh, they came over like a jet. They went wow. straight for the top of me. I was off centered. I didn't even shoot. That was, uh, that was pretty much impossible. But you know what? Got to send it, boys. Got to send it. Going to be some expensive ducks today, boys. <laughs> Let's give them a little bit of chuckle. Oh, out front, out front, out front. Oh, Sit. Definitely gonna have to like tuck down in the weeds as much. I don't know. That sun's gonna hit us right in the face eventually. There they come. Yep, here they are. <laughs> oh, uh, I was gonna let him work. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you gotta take what you can get. That's for sure. I was. I just know. That. I just knew the last couple times I couldn't hit him doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh God, go! Oh Jesus! Did you see that? Just bombed right over the top. Yeah. Big duck right here up top. They're right back in front of us. Where? Oh, go, go. <laughs> Fred seen that one go down, didn't he? Dead bird, Fred. Well, that was that was definitely all you. I know I didn't hit anything. After all those whiffs, I'm glad I finally got them. Yeah, that was dude, they so they buzzed on us. Uh, out of nowhere from with the wind that was the thing that's what caught me off guard it was oh, with yeah. the wind then they circled and came back came hard to hit like, yeah I mean that's some close shooting there on small teal boys yeah, all right. Fred dead bird he can't find it Fred dead bird now he's going towards it well we're out here looking for Jordan's dead bird real quick dead bird Fred he might smell it in those reeds there. But 
Man, them small birds are hard to hit. They get in with the wind and they are gone, Jack. Hard to hit and they're decoying extremely close. So he found it. Oh, good boy, Fred. He wasn't dead. He found it. Good. Oh, he wasn't dead? No. Good boy, Freddy. He found it in here. Yeah, he must have swam in, swam in there, eh? Come on, Fred. What do you got there? Got a little green wing tail? A little greeny. Green wing tail, baby. Look at that on the board. Well, let's get set back down. It's golden hour. Right. Come on, Fred. Go, boy. Huh? Turns out there's a hole in the waders after all. You got a hole in your waders? Just in the back of one heel. Oh, oh no. That's a wet. Oh, it's oh. not bad, though. It's just a little drip. Gotcha. Always nice finding out you have a hole in the waders. Hey, at least it's beginning of the season oh, and I not know. zero degrees out yet. Yeah. Hi, oh, boy. Hi, oh, Fred. Check out the new vest I got on him, yeah. A lot of you dropped your comments down below in the last hunt. He was shivering his butt off. You're like, you need to get him a new vest. We got him a really nice new vest. He's loving it. Let him show, show him your new vest, buddy. Sit. Sit. Yeah, it's a nice dude. Looking good, Freddy. Looking good. Smash him. Hey, yeah. Way to get him. Dude, I didn't think I was going to hit him. <laughs> I had to I had to lead him a lot. Fred sees him. He's going to get that bird boy. Yeah, good boy. Here, Fred, here. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Another teal on the board. I seen him screaming at us from a long ways away. I was like, Jordan, single coming up the gut. Sure enough, got him. Fred, here. Dead bird, here. Good. Come on. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Got to give him some inspiration. Come on, buddy. Come on, Fred. A lot of you guys have been asking Bobby, how have you done so well with Fred? How's he doing so good? Inspiration, guys. Keep your puppies, keep your young dogs happy. Lots of love. Good boy. Drop. There we go. Green wing on the board, Jack. Woo! A banded teal. I, that's kind of a dream bird for me, you know it? It is. Dude, that's all we have now is green wing. Here, heel. Good boy. Sit. That's a good boy. Here, heel. Sit. Good over, dude. Gotta make room for death. That's a good boy. That's awesome, Fred. He's really just picking up the pace and using his nose. Couldn't be more proud of Fred. That was an awesome retrieve, buddy. That was a that was a good 50 yarder, you know. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. But a lot of you guys have been like, Bobby, I just got my first hunting dog. Give me some tips, you know. And uh, the biggest thing I can tell you guys, give these dogs inspiration. Keep them happy. Um, I'm hard on Fred, but uh, I'm hard when I need to be. I get stern and then I back off and I automatically give him praise when he turns it around or when he does does what he did wrong when he does it right. So uh, young dogs need praise. If they don't enjoy do, doing this, they ain't going to want to behave. They ain't going to want to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> we had to double tap that bad boy. Dead bird, Fred. Dead bird. Well, we just had a single come in and land in the spread. And Jordan goes, is that a coot, Bob? I said, that's not a coot. It's water swat him. <laughs> Fred, you got a dead bird. There he goes. There he goes. Dead bird, Fred. There he goes. Fred is absolutely killing it. Doing amazing. Doing amazing, man. Proud of him. Good. Here. Fred, here. Fred. Here. That's why I need a whistle. Yeah. I do need to get him on a whistle. Good boy. Here. We need a whistle, don't we, buddy? Here, Fred. Come on, buddy. My bird. Drop. That's your bird, dog. That's definitely your bird. Oh, is that because it's a hen? No, no. It's <laughs> because I know you. I let you shoot first. Oh, on the left. On the left. Heel. Heel, Fred. Heel. Shoot him. Oh, those are canvas backs. And we missed them. Oh, those were beautiful birds, were dude. I have not downed a canvas back this season yet. Oh, uh, how did we miss them? Just I like was falling backwards, that's my experience. Yeah, I was. I had to crank around. That was a little hard. Just like I said earlier, when they beeline over, that's only like a 35-yard shot right above you. But they're hauling the mail. I even got in front of them. I did a little bit. I didn't as much as I should have. Gee, many Christmas canvas backs. That would that really would have sealed the deal today. That would have been nice. We, we <laughs> swing and a miss, boys. Owen, 
There you go, Freddy. Is that good? Ooh, he likes them. Blind snack time. It's sitting right at eight o'clock. Seems like right at eight o'clock, this public land deal, it always just, woo, starts really going downhill rapidly. Not saying that it was high action or anything, you know, but uh, it really slows down real fast at eight o'clock. Every single time I'm out, I'm out here. But figured I'd show you the spread, what we got going on. Got some floaters up around here. And so what we got is the wind is going this way, sideways, left, right to left. And so that's kind of how we have the spread. So they'll come up here this way and land into it. But up in here, it gets really calm and the ducks really like that. All we have out is about two and a half dozen decoys today and one mojo, that's it. So a little bit of side wind. It seems like the ducks that are really interested, they just come right up the gut, kind of parallel to the wind, you know what I mean? Or yeah, yeah, right over our back. That's a good one too. We've had a couple singles here that we've missed that just come right over the back. They don't give you a peep, a noise, a warning, nothing. Come on, buddy, come on, come on, big boy. Well, big piles today, boys. Limits, tons of limits out here, let me tell you. Oh, well, back here at the house. Decided to bring it inside the shop here, back in the old man cave. Um, been mentioning the podcasts. We could do them back here. Oh, yeah. if, if we do do them back here, I'm gonna have to get everything finished. Like I've been saying for years, those of you that have been here. Uh, but a little recap of today's hunt. What'd you think your first public <laughs> oh. public land experience? Three teal. Hey, I would do it again though. Yeah. All time. I mean, and we could have shot a lot more than three if we could have hit the broadside of a barn to start out with. I couldn't hit anything in the beginning. I but. don't know what it was. We both had the morning jitters. Walked in. Oh. Walk in hunting, you know, it's different. Uh, we were talking on the way home. And uh, it's really nice just getting out on some public hunts like this and only shooting a handful of birds. Reason being, a lot of you guys know, just like last year, me and Jordan did a lot of big field goose hunts. And there's a lot of pressure when you got eight people and two blinds and four A-frames with ten people type of deal. There's a lot of pressure to make it happen, you know. And on these little public hunts, they're nice because you go out, don't expect much. Uh, you get Fred out there, you just shoot what you can. And it's nice, and you guys like it as well. I'm glad you guys like the public hunts. I'm glad we got your... Uh, got that first one out of the way. Got the first one out of the way. Yeah. There's lots of room to improve on this hunt for me. I mean... Oh, it's... Get but it is what there. it is. You only get so much shots. One thing we also talked about is like... Uh, Fred, dude, calm down, sit. One thing we did discuss was... Uh, there was one time where I let the birds... I, I was going to let them work. Public land, man. If they're in shooting range, shoot them. You At know? least today, for sure. There was the the first two uh, before shooting light. There's those two woodies that worked. Yeah. Nothing else. We let a couple of them go past that we were gonna let work, and they just kept going. They kept going. Nothing came back. Honestly, the the forty the forty yarders guys don't be ashamed to take a forty yard shot if they're flying straight over your spread and over you. You know, take the shot. If you're comfortable shooting that far, for sure, do it. Yeah, you have no idea if you're going to get another one of those shots or not. And a lot of times, it was nice because we were the only spread. They were coming to look at us. Wasn't a lot of other hunters today. But if there's a lot of other hunters, take your shots. But, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see me and Jordan get back out there again on some public duck uh, hunts, we're going to get in the boat. He has yet to uh, do a duck boat hunt. There's a lot of duck hunts I haven't got on. There's a lot of years of firsts for me here. Right. So. so if you guys want to see us in the boat, whatever, drop a comment down below. Let me know. And the Blades hoodies back in stock. Camo Ducks hoodies. The Bottomlands hoodies. All back in stock. I will link them down in the description below. Also, also before you click out, drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see the podcast. You have people like Brad, Jordan, and maybe other YouTubers that y'all want to see. Let me know in the comment section below, please. But until next time. Boop.